welcome back to my channel today we have got a collab going with a bunch of other fellow youtubers we've got some amazing people in this collab so make sure that you check the description box because there will be a link for everybody's cheese ball um, recipe video and then I also wanted to thank Kat from Southern Farming Kitchen for hosting this collab she is so sweet and I love her to death and I just wanted to thank her for opening up this collab for everybody on here and give everybody some extra holiday spirit through the holidays because it's definitely made me excited because I love cheese balls for um, any party, any holiday party. You cannot go wrong with a good cheese ball. But after you check out my video, don't forget to check out the playlist link below so you all can see everybody's um, cheese ball. I'm definitely excited to check out all of the million cheese ball recipes because there is just so many in this world. So I'm excited to try some new ones. But I hope you all enjoy this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below and I will, um, I will make sure to check them out and answer if I know the answer. <laughs> but I hope you all have a Merry Christmas and let's go ahead and get into this video. We are going to go ahead and get started on this cheese ball. First, you're gonna need two blocks of cream cheese. You can use whatever brand you want. These are softened. Um, I let them sit out for a little while so that they're um, room temperature easier to mix all the ingredients whenever you um, have them at room temperature. Like I said, I'm making a pimento cheese cheese ball. Kind of an idea. Um, there is um, like a version of this on Pinterest if you look it up. But I've added a couple different ingredients. So I will have my recipe linked in the description. Or not linked. I'll have it typed out in the description box, box below. So that way you all can um, have mine. But like I said, you can always go and look it up. So, like I said, two blocks of cream cheese, and then I'm going to add in a half a cup of mayo. That's gonna help give it that little bit of that bite. Now we're going to move this to the side and we're gonna chop up our Pimentos. Now, you can you can omit this step by buying the jar of pimentos, um, but I already had this in the pantry, so I thought I would just use this, but it's the same thing. Same exact thing, roasted red peppers, so don't worry. I'm just gonna pull a little bit out. Now these are thinly sliced, so I'm just gonna chop them up a little bit more where it's, you know, more like the jarred pimento. I'll show you the jar of this once I get all these out. So here's the jar that I have. Like I said, it's just um, roasted red peppers. That's all this is and that's all you need. But you, like I said, you don't have to do this. You can just get a regular jar of pimentos and you'll be fine. So I'm just going to cut these up a little bit where you don't have those big chunks. I 
I love my mom's pimento cheese. Um, it's so good. And this is kind of, um, I'm using ingredients that she uses in hers. Um, but it, at the same time, it's something new because it's in a cheese ball form, which it's not going to be, you know, it's not going to be um, thin like the spreadable regular pimento cheese. It's going to be thicker. You'll be able to um, eat it on crackers, which I have an assortment here of different crackers that I will serve this with. But I thought this, this would be a fun twist on pimento cheese. Um, something different for the holidays. So I've almost got all these cut up. Okay, so this is about a half a cup of the diced roasted red peppers or pimentos, whatever you want to call them. So I'm going to put this in with the cream cheese and then we will add the rest of our ingredients and get this mixed up and get it in the fridge to set. Okay, so right now we have got in the two blocks of cream cheese. We have got uh, a fourth of a cup of mayo, and then we have a half a cup of the pimentos. Now we are going to start adding in the rest of our ingredients. Now remember, you're gonna want this on the thicker side. That way it is considered a cheese ball. So mix that together just a little bit. Now we are going to add in a few dashes of Worcestershire. This is something that um, my mom puts in her regular pimento cheese and it, ma it makes that flavor so much, so much. It just makes it amazing. <laughs> It does make a big difference in adding the um, adding the Worcestershire in there. Now we are going to add in some pepper to taste, just however much you think. Then we are going to add in a couple teaspoons of onion powder. Y'all know I just kind of eyeball, so I'd say a couple teaspoons of each. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna get out my hand mixer and I'm going to mix this up really well because we want it to be smooth. We don't want to see those big chunks of cream cheese. So let's get this blended up. So now we have got it on the smoother side. Okay, 
Okay, as you see, there's a big texture difference by using your electric mixer or if you have a kitchen aid, you can use that as well. Now I'm going to add in some bacon. Adding bacon to pimento cheese um, also gives it that pop of flavor and it's a little different compared to regular pimento cheese. So I'm probably gonna add in about a fourth, a little over a fourth a cup. And then save, um, you also need extra bacon for the outside because you're going to roll it in some bacon and cheese. And then now I'm gonna add in some, I've got, this is Colby Jack, so it's just shredded Colby and Monterey Jack cheese. Um, you could do um, plain cheddar. You could do the triple cheddar. You could also do the, um, you could do a mixture of the Colby and Monterey Jack and Pepper Jack, and that would give it that little kick, and that would be really good as well. My husband would love, love that. Okay, so this is almost, let's say a cup and a half. And then we're gonna mix it up and see the consistency of it as I make a mess. Okay, so we're gonna add in some more. We're just gonna add in this whole bag. Okay, so it is on the softer, a little bit of softer side, but remember you are going to roll this in a ball in Saran Wrap and um, it will thicken up while it sets in the fridge. And then we'll pull it back out and we will work um, on the outside and then we will put it on the platter. So now that I've got it pretty well incorporated, I'm gonna give it a taste and I'm going to see if it needs any more seasonings it needs more bacon, um, Worcestershire. We're just gonna kind of see. Y'all know that I do that as well. I taste as I go. That is a very important step when you are cooking or baking. Um, that way you know the flavors throughout the whole thing. really good. I'm just going to add in a little bit more pepper. That's just a taste. So you might not need that step. That bacon flavor is very nice in there. You get that bite of the the texture and the flavor of the bacon. You also get the Worcestershire, and then you get a little tad of garlic, and then that onion powder as well. And then you also can taste the tang of the mayo. I use mayo. Uh, Miracle Whip is going to make it sweet. So I would recommend using the mayo so it doesn't give that sweetness. But this is good. So now I'm gonna go get the Saran Wrap, and we are going to ball this up and we will put it in the fridge and let it sit. You can also keep it in the bowl, kind of ball it up um, in the bowl and cover it and put it in the fridge to let it set. I like to do it this way. That way it already forms, um, you know, you're forming it into the saran wrap as a ball. And then all you have to do is pull it out, unroll it, and then you can roll it in whatever, um, you know, toppings that you want for your cheese ball. This kind of saves you a step.
And this is a good size cheese ball. I'm going to wrap it a little bit more just because the ends are starting to open up. If I can get this. Saran wrap is lovely, isn't it? Okay. So now it is wrapped. It's pretty much formed into your ball. And then now I'm going to pop it into the fridge until it sets up. And then we will move on to the next step. Okay, so now that the cheese ball has set, I have just unwrapped it a little bit, and then I made a mixture here of uh, triple cheddar, and I've used some of the rest of the bacon pieces. So I've just got that mixture here, just gonna kind of mix it up, and then you're just going to drop this on top. We're gonna throw this away. And I've got clean hands, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to press it down in this cheese and bacon mixture. And as I do that, I'm going to kind of form it a little better into a ball. Because as you see, it's not a perfect ball. So I like to take and kind of press it into the sides a little bit. Where that way, it's not going to be that sticky as I'm going around and rolling Now, if you need more of the cheese and more of the bacon mixture, just throw some more on a platter like this. And you just wanna keep rolling and coating until you've got it all nice and covered here. Okay. So I like that, it's all nice and coated. I formed it into a ball. Now you can take and clean this off and you can use this Christmas platter as um, your plate or you can use something like this, which is what I'm gonna use because I really enjoy using white platters. Um, it helps the food pop and it looks nice and clean. So since this is ready, I'm just going to put this in the middle we're gonna move this, move that there. Okay, and then next, I bought an assortment of different kinds of crackers. So I've got some of these specialty um, entertainment crackers. These are the rosemary ones. They're really good. They have different um, flavors in these style. I like, when I do my assortment of crackers, I like to get different sizes. Um, so I've got like the square, um, a smaller square, and then we have got just a regular Ritz cracker. Um, and then these are larger, so you've got a little bit of different, you have different shapes and you have different um, sizes on your platter. So we're gonna open those up. Mm, those smell amazing. We're gonna open up the wheat thins. Um, for me, I I like the off brands. I don't think that there's you know much of a taste difference. So I just got the Kroger brand of the wheat thins and then the Kroger brand of the crackers.
And then now all we're gonna do is we are going to finish off the rest of our platter. Now there's different ways that you could do this. You could keep it nice and clean. Um, and you could just take and scoot out, you know, the whole roll and keep, you know, the whole thing on there. But for this shape of platter with it, it's got the texture on it. Um, I like to just kind of put a couple, put a couple, cause if you do, if you do the crackers that way, you're going to be able, it's not just on one side. So if you have someone coming in on this side and someone coming in on this side, then they have both options of crackers on both sides. So I like to do that. So let's put down some of these. These smell so good. Okay, so you have got that, that right there. And then now I'm just going to take a couple of the wheat fans and I'm just going to place them on opposite sides. And then we're going to put our Ritz crackers. You're gonna fill more of a space up if you do your crackers like this instead of like this. Um, you'll have to, you would have to buy a lot more crackers if you just wanted to lay them out. Um, but that's definitely an option that's up to you. Um, I like doing them both ways because um, it helps keep that, you know, the different texture and sizes. Here is your platter all done. It is beautiful, festive, and you are ready for any party. Here is your cheese ball platter all done. I just stuck in a couple of these cute little cheese cutters. This one is a Santa, and that one is um, presents with a little bow on top. These are so cute. You can find these at most retail stores or you can find them at Hobby Lobby. But like I said, I love that it's got the different texture. It's got the different shapes of the crackers. It helps it make a beautiful cheese ball platter. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget that this video is a collaboration with a bunch of other YouTubers and I will have the playlist link down in the description box below so you all can go down and click on it after you are done with my video and go check out a bunch of fellow YouTubers that have made some amazing cheese balls and I will see y'all again. Bye guys!